Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Time for another naval battle. The British Type 26 frigate and the Type 45 destroyer in DCS has recently been changed by our friend CH. Hello CH. Hello. So we wanted to show you the changes and what better way to show it than having a lovely flotilla battle. So here we have the British four vessels, two Type 45 destroyers and two Type 26 frigates. 100 miles away are the Chinese with their equivalent Type 055 destroyers and Type 052 D destroyers. Let's look at the ship in detail. First, the modified Type 26 frigate. So CH, since I saw this last, I see that the sea scepters, there used to be 144, amazingly, in mushroom farms on this ship. That's down to 48. And replacing the missing ones appear to be this thing, Spear 5 land attack cruise missile and Spear 5 supersonic anti-ship missile, 8 and 16 respectively. I've never heard of this missile. Can you tell us a bit about the Spear 5 and about their engagement ranges, please? The mushroom forms is uh, still there. What I have done is I have removed the uh, sea scepters from the Mark 41 VLSs, Roger. where they were quad packed. That's why we had so many of them, just because the uh, UK hadn't bought any anti ship or uh, land attack cruise missiles for the ship, so I just populated them with sea scepters until they made that decision. What has happened is that we have a little more information about what they intend to put in the Mark 41s, and it doesn't seem to be any of the American standard missiles or Tomahawks or something like that. It is a joint uh, venture between uh, France and UK. Uh, Future Cruise Anti-Ship Weapon, FCASW, is what it's called. And this is supposed to be, uh, I think, operational uh, somewhere around 20, 28, 2030 somewhere about the same as the ship in itself so so i thought why not put them there right now since uh, we can make better use of the, the ship that way so uh, I, since we don't have all the information we have to extrapolate somewhat uh, we have the basic idea that there will be two kinds of missiles uh, i call them the spear 5 that's the uk name for it it's uh, divided into two types. The first one is the uh, land attack cruise missile. As you can see to the right, it's the, exactly it's the, the the one with the longer wings. is uh, a subsonic, more uh, like the uh, uh, the scalp of Storm Shadow that we're using today. But this one is VLS launched, uh, and the other one is the supersonic anti-ship missiles. Uh, and uh, this is because the um, UK and, the, and France have a different opinions so how the naval warfare should be conducted in the coming years when France is pushing for hypersonics at first and then going to uh, high supersonics while the UK wants the stealth more slowly like uh, LRSMs and that kind of stuff. So it seems to end up in two types of missiles with different characteristics and different uh, targets to aim for. For the um, uh, supersonic anti-ship missile, we have around 160 nautical miles. And for the cruise missile, we have around 300, 325 uh, nautical miles. Roger. And the very much existing Type 45 destroyer. This is a slightly futuristic phase of it. The previous phase that we had had Aster 15s and Aster 30 missiles. They have been replaced by this, the Sea Viper Aster 30 Block 1, 48 of them, and added are the Sea Scepters, the uh, common missile, 24 of them, and the eight naval strike missiles remain. Can you tell us a bit about the Aster 30 Block 1, please? As you mentioned, the, the ST-15 and the 30 was the shorter range and longer range version. It's actually the same missile with a different kind of uh, boosters. But what they really needed here was the uh, more pure self-defense missiles, where the CAM is very suitable, since it can uh, engage a lot of targets at the same time. So they then could use the uh, uh, the silver VLS cells for uh, the more longer range missiles, uh, the Aster 30. And it was also time to upgrade the old first version of Aster 30 to the Aster 30 Block 1. That's not the one, uh, as you might think, this, there is an NT version, which is for anti-ballistic use. This is something in between. It has a slightly better uh, seeker. 
so it, it's a little better at uh, the anti-ballistic stuff, but it's not the one made for it. The Chinese vessels have not been changed, but I figured we better quickly go through them anyway because we're going to be having a fight. The weapons of interest are going to be for the Type 055 destroyer, 16 high supersonic YJ-18 anti-ship missiles, and 8 long-range hypersonic high-altitude YJ-21 missiles. And in the Type 052D destroyer, the same high supersonic YJ-18 missiles. So, CH, we have four versus four. I've not run it through. I've just checked that everything works, and it does. But can we have a prediction? Who's going to win? We are in range of all of the missiles. Naval Strike missile is in range. Spear 5 is in range. YJ-21 and YJ-18 are in range. You go first. Yeah, we have, I remember the last time we did this. Uh, and since that, uh, we have a better configuration for the Type 45s, uh, and also now with the Type 26 and its configuration. And the Sea Scepters are pretty good at self-defense. But we also know that the YJ-21 is a really hard target to hit. Uh, so I think if it can uh, in some way uh, survive the first barrage for the 21s, it has a good chance to retaliate because the new anti-ship uh, missiles, the Spear 5, is uh, pretty deadly. They could have a chance, the UK, if they can survive the first YJ-21s. Roger, and there aren't many YJ-21s, just 16 in play today. Uh, I used to fight with the ships going towards each other, viewers, but you guys have since educated me and asked them to sail off bore to make sure as many weapons, uh, self-defense weapons like gun, sea whiz, are freed up as possible. Right, off we go. Oh, this is important. Come on, British. Come on, British. And go. We have AWACS, obviously, to guide the missiles and stuff. Right, uh, let's quickly watch, first of all, the Chinese, the Type 055 destroyers, and the 52D in the background. It's like the old pirate ship. That yes, does, that's exactly right. Side I said, by side, yeah. I said they're 100, <laughs> 100 miles apart. <laughs> I've got some missiles, YJ-21. I'm going to pause it at that point because it's a scientific exercise at the end of the day. Here are the boosted YJ-21 hypersonic missiles. We'll max out about Mach 10. We'll have a terminal velocity of between Mach 6 and Mach 7. Uh, we've got the naval strike missile has just uh, been fired from the first. Ooh, look at that. I've caught it in the friggin' amazing. <laughs> and go. Ho, ho, ho. Low observability subsonic low altitude missile and we've got for the first time spear five Ooh -wee. so are the french going to be operating this missile as well but under a different name yeah that's uh, how i understand it yeah it's a funny looking thing viewers what do you think it looks like a um i don't know what it looks like like nothing <laughs> pretty much yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> right yeah okay um and they're doing pretty much what they were doing in real life just fire everything um, yeah. yeah, that's what you want to do. Right, YG-21s are going to be the first missiles in action because of their huge speed. And if you can still hear me over that sound, they're over 4,000 knots, as you can see. Yeah, they're attacking yeah. from space. Yep, attacking from space. Now, what's going to happen? I'm going to pause. Again, this is, uh, I know you want to be entertained, but this is kind of scientific as well. Is and he's yes, sea scepter missiles are going up from the mushroom farms. All four vessels have mushroom farms now. How good are sea scepters going to be? These are built from the CAM uh, common airframe, which originated from the uh, the old Azram missile. Uh, but these are radar guided, they're Fox 3 active seeker heads, aren't they? Yep. Right, we'll start off with a 3D view and see what happens. God help us, God save the king. Come on, intercept, intercept. No chance, the mist. The mist. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on! Ah, J45! Oh, the, oh, the last! Got it at the last second! Jesus Christ! I couldn't write this as. Yes! Bring it, bring it on. Stop, but it, yeah. I, re I really thought that was getting through. Yeah, it was really, really. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, the PK is not 100%. They are getting no, but, through, but just not quite enough. Yeah, but they are actually flying a lot of it, which is great uh, with this kind of attack. Exactly what you want. Pause. Because look how many missiles. They're just firing everything as quickly as they yeah. can. It would have been cool to watch the uh, them fire here, viewers, and you would just would have seen whoosh, 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 <laughs> like that. We really need to see the missile. Well, that's it. There's only two left. Wowee. This is going to be... This is right. I think Britain can win now, viewers. 
Yes! One, so one got through to about there, viewers. About 100 <laughs> feet from a Type 45. And that's how close it was. Right, breathe. Um, ah, now this is interesting. Yeah, H more uh, hmm. uh, YJs coming in. Uh, 21s. Roger. I'm just going to pause there just so we can get our breath back. And Oh, yeah, look at that. Four more. Yeah, so yeah they were hold, holding on to some of that. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> yeah. Right, which are the next fastest missiles? So the next fastest are going to be the YJ-18s. But a whole load of HQ-9 Bravos are out. These are the they're equivalent of America's SM-6 with about the same range uh, surface-to-air like, missiles. And what are they shooting at, though? I don't know what they're shooting at. The, the income, yeah, the incoming missiles are shooting at. Uh, mm. And you have a couple of Spear 5s uh, getting pretty close now. Don't forget to look oh. at them then. Yep, uh, Spear 5s are 30 miles, and these uh, YJ 18s are or 27 miles. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they are all uh, almost equivalent to sp in speed, the Spear 5s and right. the YJ 18s. Oh, it's a high supersonic, aren't they? Yeah, I got that wrong. I was just yeah. interested to see what these these HQ 9s appear to be doing nothing. Look, they're just they've lost. They've got lost. Yeah. They've failed. <laughs> they've, that must be the stealth of the missiles uh, yeah. messing them up. That's the best bet I've got. Right, watching everything now. Okay, a, a new battery of HQ-9s are going out. Roger, yeah. YG-21s are overtaking the YG-18s. 4,000 knots. Here come the cams. You know what? This time I'm going to pause. I'm going to watch it from here. They might have fired. Look, here they go. Look at them, viewers. Smash, 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 smash. And of course they had all the... <laughs> Oh, no! We've lost a <laughs> battle cruiser. No, they oh, got no. through. They One got more. through. No, 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 no. I think oh, you're out of missiles. God dang it. Yeah, we fired so many. I haven't. I forgot to put the scoreboard on viewers. Or I haven't even got it set up at the moment. Oh, it missed. That one missed. Oh, I think just... something took it out. Yeah, yeah. Have... Right. Anyway, we've got to stop. Pause. Right. So much is happening at the same time, CH. Right. The <laughs> YJ-18s have all gone. They run... That was why that YJ-21 got through. The YJ-18s were coming in at the same time and took the cams so the yeah. one yj21 could get through so sorry i gotta have a so, drink yeah and then the close in systems took care of it it was the officer with a sidearm it was yeah it's his uh webley <laughs> he shut it down so that yeah. view is, is what we call naval leakage or missile leakage if you chuck enough yeah. stuff and it hits the defending target at enough angles at the same time something inevitably gets through and what we saw there was yj18s timed by fluke with it, what we think with a bunch of yj21s and as a result the cams as uh, the c-scepters were overwhelmed and one ship is down to be honest yeah, yeah. to survive that battery i'm happy to lose just one ship it is definitely not over right back to this spear fives low visibility missiles have got within 11 miles of the chinese and this is where it's all at now and they've done really well to survive hundreds of hq9 bs have been fired at them yeah. again i haven't got a counter uh, on yeah but... let's see if we can see if anyone comes a little closer because i have implemented a little different uh, final evasive maneuver it's much ah. more unstable so that it actually because this is a very modern missile and yep. i know they will have implemented very more advanced uh, final maneuvers. So I have really tried to make that happen here. Roger. Yeah, we're going to get so much control over it, viewers, but we'll see what happens. No, they're not going to get that far. Oh, God, it got absolutely <laughs> smashed by about five missiles. Yeah, um, a lot of missiles firing. Yeah. Each of those uh, Chinese vessels has 72, uh, a huge amount, because they're big ships, those Chinese ships, 72 HQ 9B. So they'll probably fire all day, annoyingly. But the, so the PK of these is terrible, basically 0% yeah. pretty much at range. But when they get close, obviously, you know, low visibility to stuff can be steamed mm. close up. Now, all that time, the NSMs have been slowly sneaking in viewers. They're subsonic missiles marked 0 0.9. And they've yeah, got a long this is sneak in Norwegians. You know, this is kind of like old tech. This is like old 1980s um, in terms of kinematic, uh, like a harpoon or something. But it's modern with its seeker head. Uh, it's yeah. avionics and it's stealth ability. Loads more Spear 5s going out. <laughs> yeah, checking out amount of missiles they are shucking out. Yes. Yeah. Right, he's making it through. Yep. Yeah. The PK against the Spear 5 is very low. Yeah. They need to fire a lot of HQ-9. So there's a possibility Britain could win just by draining the Chinese missiles. This is anyone's game. Let's go and have a look at the Chinese firing viewers. <laughs> that is quite sizable. <laughs> yeah. Someone is getting tired in the thumb. Yes. Yes, they are. Smashing that button. Smashing that green button. It's getting a smash. Like taking Street Fighter arcade machine. Yeah, right. Best arcade machine. Come on, run out. Run out. We all want to see some Chinese ships get sunk today. 
Oh, they got one at oh, 70 oh, miles. Oh, nice. That was impressive. It was probably That's by luck. First. Yeah. So we hit one. <laughs> Look at that, Viewingtons. That is Don's but impressive, <laughs> as you would say in France. Oh, I think they're at... No, I'll take that back. They're not out of missiles. They have an incredible amount of missiles. Yeah, well, you know what's good? Um, apart from that YJ-21, everything else has been smashed, including those high supersonic YJ-18s, which are... They used to be trouble for the Type 45s, so the improved Astas are definitely doing a better job defending viewers. The problem is here, we, once we get within 10 miles, they, they're completely visible and they just get smashed. It's going to be a stalemate, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, we have to, yeah. If it gets just one leakage uh, towards the Chinese, it would be so nice like we had on the Type 45. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But they're still, still chucking out the spears. Yeah, we're still chucking out the spears. Uh, that was 16 inch, I think. <laughs> I've forgotten. But still, the amazing amount of 9Bs coming out. Yeah, they just were. And everything's modelled here, viewers. If you're new to this, every missile in the cell is modelled and, you know, there's no cheating or anything. Jeez. <laughs> Four or five missiles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised because I've set them up as a group. Actually, yeah. I can't remember how I've set them up, so scratch that. I've forgotten. I've set them up as a group. That's interesting. This is what we actually want. Yes, it uh, is. But Sometimes we don't get this because yeah. AI. <laughs> yeah. Depends on the captain that day. It really depends how they feel on the day. That's not an exaggeration either, viewers. It literally <laughs> needs, yes, that's how it works. Where we get some funny results sometimes. This one's got a real freaking oh, 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 let's see if it's I'm starts. gonna pause. I'm gonna pause. Ah, oh, oh, come on, see. now it's gonna get hit. Oh, look how close it is! <laughs> four Three! Nearly under four miles. This one got under four miles, viewers. It's gonna get hit now, but. If we only had one or more behind it. Right, yeah. And that's probably what you would do in real life. We, there's only so much we can do, viewers, but a real, you know, battery, you'd probably send them all so they all spread out and then would time yeah. on target. And that becomes yeah. impossible to intercept at that point. But you can appreciate yeah. there's only so much access we get to these missiles. These are not uh, core game missiles. Right. And, and the new kind of modern missiles actually target different, uh, they talk to each other and target front and back and mid wow. and, and then separate it. Mm, yeah, so you can start to see the idea of Sea Scepter then being uh, anti swarm, if you like, counter to that. Yeah. Uh oh, I think they're out of miss. Have, oh, maybe they have to resort it. to their hundreds. They have no, hundreds no. of hundreds. Oh, let me go and check that. <laughs> no, they've still got freaking YJ. Oh, shit. They no. still have these. Yeah. yeah that's... Freaking unbelievable. All yeah. right. Whoops, wrong button, viewers. Oh, that's the point. I haven't seen a YJ-18 today, viewers. I'm about to show you that off. Uh, it's this. It starts with a solid rocket booster, then it goes to an air-breathing ram jetty type engine. Do we know anything about the engine on the Spear 5, or is it just just guesswork at that point? Yeah, yeah, more or less, yeah. Yeah, these are... Fragmented data. Yeah, everything in the Chinese side is in service now, as of 2021, viewers. Yeah. Uh, the Type 26 frigate on the British does not exist yet until 2028, 20, 2030. And the Spear 5 does not exist yet. Yeah, so yeah, I think we've got a frigate stalemate, viewers. We have... Huh, look if at... They oh, no, can survive oh, right, this YJ-18. All right, here we go, viewers. Let's see how the Block 1 Asta does against the YJ-18. So I've got the ability to speed up just to save your precious viewing time. Miss no God it hit that Asta. Woo wee What a friggin' beast viewers. That's good to see. If you're a Brit like me, you want to be protected. Cause this might happen one day. I mean obviously we hope not, but we might have to do this thing. The less said the better. Right, YJ eighteens, <laughs> Eddie M. <laughs> you never know. It mm. only takes one. We'll give you a bad head headache. Mm, yeah. a good bit. Yes, yes. Come on, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, these are much easier yeah. than the um, scepters. Yeah, that didn't take any chances. Just no. send scepters. Everything. Look how many C scepters. <laughs> this is exactly how uh, CH designed it. Just all the, the idea of the mushroom farm, viewers, which is there, is you just fire everything. Yeah, yeah. the hatch just pop off. You don't need to open yeah. a hatch and wait a second. And yeah. Are they? Don't they just? Do they push through, or do the hatches blow off? I've forgotten. Uh, I think they push uh, through, That's but it. I've seen pictures. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say when we look at the how it goes because yeah, it yeah. Goes very fast. Yes, it is. Anyway, so stuff still being fired. What, what's being fired now? Oh, more J 18s Okay, ah. there's these are the dregs. Regulars. These are the dregs. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we've got much to miss here, Viewingtons. Pop. Yeah. Pop. pop. Let's just hope it doesn't hit on the last one. Yeah, that would be a bit. Right, that. Ah. <laughs> no, even more. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> yes, one guy has oh your wake God. up. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> it continues, viewers. Yeah. Oh, where are I supposed to fire with right. the other guys? All right, let's see. So it's all about who can outlast who. Like I said, the amount of missiles is all modeled. We are running out of mushroom farms, viewers. <laughs> 100% running out of missed mushroom farms. Those are the others. Oh, and this one. You don't have others. Uh oh. This could be twice. The 26 uh, have two farms. Does it have two? Uh, the Type 26, but the 45 only has one. In it. I'll jump. Smash. Let's go and have a look at Type 26. Um, oh, completely depleted on the front. Does it have another mushroom farm? Yes, yeah. it does. Look at that. Oh, it's depleted. Yeah. Mushroom farm <laughs> depleted on the 26th. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, yeah. No, viewers. So, All the so, so for the last one, they have to resort ready. to... Gun. Yeah, to the sea, sea whiz. Gun. Sea whiz, which will work. So it should or, track or, viewers. Or 30 mils. They have 30 mils and sea whiz. And okay. they are going by the side now. So... I'm so excited. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons, viewers. Ready? Here it goes. Here it frigging goes. It should be happy you put them perpendicular now. Yes. <laughs> no, no, they're too good. Yes, <laughs> suck it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's not over yet. One hundred percent not over yet, viewers. Yes, he's firing. He's firing. He's got it. Yes, American Sea Wiz. Apparently, best Sea Wiz viewing to Wilmington. Oh, we're feeling the heat. And look, two of these have taken damage now, just a tiny bit, but damage Imagine is being be taken. The guy behind the oh. GPMG looking at these right. comments <laughs> <to you. laughs> Come on, Seawiz. It's done a great job. It's not as stealthy as Laraz and viewers. Seawiz can track it a lot better. No, no! Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> ah, dog, damn it. They've blown another <laughs> friggin' destroyer up. Oh! Damn it, it's out of action. One of those warheads will sink it, viewers. Oh, and they're still coming. I hate Chinese! Yeah, let's uh, see how the 26 oh, does it. Uh, they have the upgraded uh, 30 mils uh, and the same sea ways. 30 mil is based on the Bushmaster. The 145 is based on all the guns. There's the sea ways. Ah. No, no, uh, the, the ones you see is 30 mil. Sea ways doesn't have there it is. Uh, tracers. Roger. Oh, really? What? No, no, it, oh. it's. No, no, because traces is always, uh, only used for you so you can see where you're hitting. Right. This one is automated. You don't need traces for that. Right. Okay, I was not aware of that views. Anyway, the sea is fire and the Bushmaster is fine, so they can track it. It's all working. No, no, no! A giant telegraph <laughs> In that frigging bag, viewers! Well, a bit of shrapnel just carried on and hit the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I thought, was it one more? <laughs> uh, imagine being this, viewers. Oh, no! No! It snuck in! Boom! Oh, smash! Yeah. So it's important down. to have oh. them going close to each other because yes, exactly. it, it takes a couple of seconds to... Uh, re-engage for a new target. Ah, oh, damn it. Viewers, I don't want to lose, obviously, but damn, it's fun watching ships get blown up, right? When everything's all cool and modelled all good. Am I... Yeah. Well, uh, that's going for the wrong ship, so that's irrelevant. No, it's... Yes, it is going for the sunk ship. Is that it? <laughs> that's it? Well, One type 26, though. You played it a lot, lot better than last time. <laughs> all right. All right, viewers, I'm going to do one more thing. Uh, since we survived with one frigate, what I'm going to do, lol, is we're going into gun range. Because we survived. Because this is how we're going to do my new naval battles viewers. So if something survives, we're going to go in freaking gun range and take them on. Right. Type 26 against all of China. Stand by. Yeah, viewers. Type 26 has the uh, Mark 45, Mod 4. Roger. Which is... Which is the slower one, not oh. the one on the 45. So it's got the stupid, cheap American one. Oh, yeah. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's problematic. Yeah, yeah, we really like the other one. The, I like the, the, uh, the Type Mark 8. That's, that's a gun, viewers. That's a gun. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oof. I wonder if they'll use missiles at this range. And the Chinese have the... Uh, yes, they will. Uh, yeah, yeah. The 130 mil guns. We might as well just watch from here, viewers. Not much tactics going to be used today. Oh, missiles are hitting. Oh, they just shredded us straight away. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. China's ships are. Oops, China's ships are frigging devastating viewers. Look, we almost hit one. If that helps, almost. That was an NSM. Yeah, the, the, the amount of the less cells in total with 
these four ships on the Chinese side is... Yeah. Yeah, the problem is why everyone's so scared of this view is it's uh it's actually the size of a cruiser type 055 yeah. uh, china's latest thing they're already making a few of them thank god because they're incredibly expensive but they're so big they carry so much firepower that they just they act like two normal destroyers hate them hate to have to fight against them it'd be horrible right that was brilliant it was simple but brilliant and well done for the upgrades i think they're great anything to add ch no bye bye